Good morning everybody. Uh, what we have here is a mixture of heavy smoke and cloud and if we go into the solar I've had to quickly do a quick install of the Victron charge controller uh, because the inverter hasn't turned up for that spot yet by the way the other inverter that got bit by uh eaten by ants is repaired um just got to install some new fans in it i might as well um and then that goes back down the shed so we've got 1500 watts of solar about on that right now <laughs> it's bringing in 100 and we can see the watts there yet yeah. So uh, the current is 2 amps thereabouts, you can see that, 85 volts, 2 amps, and the current going into the battery is 3.6, that's what MPPT controllers do, lovely. But I just had to update that one all, and I used my iPad to do that. Um, it's, the program's picked it up. But I need to install something because it's not reading it. So um, hopefully, when Jeremy finishes work, if he's uh, today, if he's not too buggered, he can have a look and sort that out for me. Uh, so yeah, you know, um, fifteen hundred kilowatts, maybe a bit over that actually, and we're only bringing in a hundred and. 90 yeah under 200 watts uh 2.2 amps 3.7 going into the batteries uh, not a not a good day with all this with all this smoke you can see it all through there so we've got smoke and we've got cloud and i'm hoping it rains to put that bushfire out because it's just it's a pain it's a real pain all right um i'm gonna um get in the trailer while, while i've got the ipad out here and update the uh victron that i've got in the trailer i'll probably show you how how to do that all right so bear with me i'll be back shortly okay so i've turned the power on over there Hopefully we can see the light when the Victron's on. Hopefully. Let's walk around so we can check it. Just Sorry. Okay. It's a bit dark in there, but you can see the light flashing. All right. Uh. Because the solar, apart from being absolutely filthy, will not be putting any power into it at all there, I don't think. Okay, so let's open the, the Victron Bluetooth app. Okay, so you can see both the devices there now. It's picking up the one in the power room and it's picking up the one in the trailer. That's a 100 by 20. I thought it was a 1 by 30, but it's only a 1 by 20. We go into there. It's connecting. And as you can see, it's due for an update. So we'll give it an update. And that's the boring bit. Okay, so where were we? I just got interrupted then by a, uh, a visitor. Okay, so that's the um, one in the shed. And that's the one in the trailer. It's connecting again. All right, and as you can see, there's no power getting off that panel, of course. I mean, that would just be too much to ask for. But it's all updated and all working. Semi trailers aren't supposed to use this street, but there goes one anyway. Um, the cloud is sort of coming and going 
Uh, well, the clouds, not the cloud, the smoke, the clouds there permanent by the looks of it all day. Let's go back in to the one in the shed. And the one in the shed's putting seven amps in. Remember, that's um, just over 1500 watts of panels, thereabouts. So, uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But that's how easy they are to update and everything else. I really like that with the Victrons. Um, they're really good. They just update so easily. And this app that comes with them is great. Um, yeah, I just love it. And we'll have a quick look at our day again. There's not much of a breeze out there, so there's not much smoke over us right now. But you can see the clouds, they're fairly thick, fairly heavy. I really, really hope it rains and puts that fire out. There's Mrs. Fish down there. She's just been fed. All right, you just have a great day, everybody. Keep safe. Bye for now.